Lockheed Martin Space, Titusville, Florida, is awarded a $70,123,973 fixed price incentive, cost plus incentive fee, and cost plus fixed fee modification to exercise options under a previously awarded contract for Trident II, D5, missile production and deployed systems support. The Navy wants the Trident II D-5 missile to last a long time as the service brings its new Columbia-class nuclear missile submarines online. The Navy's new nuclear-armed Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines will serve all the way until 2084, so the Pentagon is now taking specific, measured steps to ensure its weapons will be ready throughout the rest of this century. The Navy's Strategic Systems Program is now upgrading its existing Trident 2D5 nuclear missiles with a special life extension program to ensure the electronics, warheads and guidance systems are current, functional and highly effective. Called the Trident 2D5 LA program, the upgraded missile is in production to sustain Navy's undersea nuclear missile strike capability, ensuring a catastrophic second strike in the even the United States is attacked with nuclear weapons. Work is expected to be completed September 30, 2026. The UM 133A Trident II or Trident D5 is a submarine launched ballistic missile, SLBM, built by Lockheed Martin Space in Sunnyvale, California, and deployed with the American and British navies. A new, life-extended variant of the weapon, called the Trident 2 D5 LE, was first installed in 2017, arming the fleet with an upgraded weapon slated to serve well into the 2040s and beyond. The upgrades are part of a coordinated Navy Lockheed effort to upgrade, modernize, and sustain the missile. The Navy is working with Lockheed on a number of key technical upgrades to both modernize and sustain the nuclear weapon. The Trident D-5 was first deployed in March 1990 and remains in service. The Trident II strategic weapon system is an improved SLBM with greater accuracy, payload, and range than the earlier Trident C-4. The Trident II is considered to be a durable sea-based system capable of engaging many targets. It enhances the U.S. position in strategic arms negotiation with performance and payload flexibility that can accommodate active treaty initiatives. The Trident II's increased payload allows nuclear deterrence to be accomplished with fewer submarines, and its high accuracy, approaching that of land-based missiles, enables it to be used as a first-strike weapon. Trident II missiles are carried by 14 U.S. Ohio and four British Vanguard-class submarines, with 24 missiles on each Ohio class and 16 missiles on each Vanguard class. The number of missiles on Ohio-class submarines will be reduced to 20 each starting in 2023, in compliance with the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. There have been 177 successful test flights of the D-5 missile since design completion in 1989 
the most recent being from USS Maine, SSBN 741, in February 2020. Dot the D-5 is the sixth in a series of missile generations deployed since the sea-based deterrent program began 60 years ago. The Trident D-5 LE, life extension, version will remain in service until 2042.